Hello everybody and welcome back to Subnautica. So I, as you guys, if you've watched the previous video in the playlist, please do, it's very important. So basically in that video I explain, I tried to record an episode of Subnautica and the audio um, o OBS do like basically dicked on me and I lost a, about an hour and 15 minutes and I lost basically the video to my reactions in that video in the background but because there's no audio you can't hear my response to it but you could see it in that video um so basically in the last episode uh i sp i wasted no time i got back on the game we headed straight down here to the primary research containment facility and well i met the sea emperor um it's freaking incredible i just look it was such a cool meeting and just to talk to the Le the leviathan the sea emperor and just to scan all these things, like there was a yin and yang symbol type thing which blew me away, making like a connection to earth and everything and possibly like, they're basically it explains that there's a potential theory that back in uh, like medieval um, earth, um, essentially aliens came down and um, w like influenced us in some way and so it's the universal symbol for, uh, you know, uh, two opposites, you know, that type of thing, so... Really incredible stuff, super interesting. I've scanned everything in here. I've looked through like the outflow pipes of the peepers and how they go in infected and they come out not infected. Um, and that's exactly how life on this planet is even still around is because peepers are the source of everything, guys. You, you need to understand this. Peepers are like the reason this planet is still going because it makes sense. Why would all the, you know, the alien race that was native to this planet, why would they all die? But all the rest of the life is still alive. So they explained that very well. Um, I might as well head down and see the Sea Emperor. Um, I'm going to leave my... Hmm. I'm actually kind of scared to... Ju get out and then jump in because I'm not sure if I can jump out of the water or not. I'm too scared, so I'm not going to do that. Um, and don't worry for my memory. I perfectly remember everything that's been happening in the past um, in terms of plot, story, you know, all the little things. Um, and, uh, yeah, don't worry about that. I'm completely up to date on that. I've got good memory when it comes to games and stuff like that, so it's... Uh, it's just really just fun to get back into. I just love playing this game. And there it is. Or oh, she is. It has, a f it has a female voice. But as from what I understand in one of our previous parts for Subnautica, we discovered that essentially um, there are no male and females in Subnautica. There's all it. Because that's, that's why every single species has no variation. They all look the same. That's why all the peepers look the same and there's no variation. Um, that sort of thing. So, that's, so, they're technically all it's, um, rather than he's and she's. So, uh, you know, there's that, but it has a female voice. I'm not sure how that happens. Probably just, I mean, let, let's be honest, you can either get a male or a female acting it. So, it would, it, you know, kind of hard to get around, that is. <laughs> so, our goal is to create, I believe it's called hatching enzymes. Yes, these. So, um, the, in order to, uh, trigger a hatching mechanism for the Sea Emperor's eggs, we need to create this. And if we create this and let them escape throughout the portal and get them out of this, basically a prison cell for the Sea Emperor, um, she will give us the cure, essentially. Um, and we need to find all of these ingredients to make it. And I assumed, and from what I figured out in the last part, which obviously you guys didn't see, unfortunately... So there are these warp gates all around here. I've opened one. I had a look through it. Um, I checked the warp gate that opens down there when she blows the sand away. That was really cool. Um, and basically, they all lead you to different biomes. And what, from my understanding, every single biome has an ingredient in it. And basically, this basically... I said basically a lot now. Um, it transports you to these areas and you find the ingredient in some way, shape, or form. And these are very discreet because I had obviously never seen any of these ingredients before uh, in the Let's Play. And I was like, okay, so it's got to be something that's there, but I just haven't noticed or I haven't picked up on before. So essentially, the what I've figured out is I went into the tree, um, the tr 
mushroom forest area. And I was looking around for a while and basically I just hit a tree and I got, I hit one of the mushroom trees and I literally got the fungal sample. So I was like, okay, so that basically confirms I need to go to each individual biome and get all these different samples of things. I have no idea where to get. I'm just going to have to go to each biome that I know and find what each of these ingredients. Ghost weed seeds pretty easily around the ghost leviathan areas um, when you go pretty deep. The bulb bush, not quite sure about that one. Um, eye stalk, it's again one of those like, it's like one of those really dark, deeper areas. Sea crown, again, not really sure. So it seems to be bulb bush and sea crown where I don't really have a, any clue as to the areas where they lie. But I'm sure we'll find it. So this whole episode is going to be dedicated to, you know, uh, just finding the ingredients for these hatching enzymes and getting this cure. Because, um... It's been a long journey. I think we deserve a cure at this point. So, um, in tomb, in tomb, uh, so basically, I filled up the the not the cyclops. I forgot what you called the prawn suit. Um, with water and cured peepers. So now we're okay because we can go to these biomes through the warp gates and get food. So that's no problem. I have a heat blade, so I can cook it nice and easy. I can survive on that. It's the water that I need to be careful of. And what I need to do, what I want to do now is go back to the base, make a bunch of beacons, and mark every single warp gate. So I'm able to easily go back and forth between this facility and the warp gates, you know? So I don't want to lose track of where I am, per se. And there's this thing that generates ion cubes forever. So I could essentially make everything ion if I had to, if I wanted to. Which, I remember when I first discovered ion, I really wanted to. But because of my base location, it's just difficult to get around and get that sort of stuff. So maybe we'll do that after at a later date at some point, which would be very cool. I think that would be a good plan. Um, so cured. Yeah. Okay. So let's eat one of those now, actually. And let's have some water. So I kind of just like waited a bit for the peepers to breed. Then I chucked, I cooked them all, cured them all, made sure there was two left so they could carry on breeding. And essentially, this is where we're at. Um, I went through all this area, you know, ate and drank as I went and met the Sea Emperor. Got my next objective, uh, story-wise. So that's what we're going to do. I mean, I don't see, we don't really have any anything else to do aside from that. Because I know I had a lot of ambitions before that two month, that, ma that month gap, month and a half gap or whatever it was. Um... That I was going to, you know, add more to the base. And right now, I'm going to just kind of get back on track with the story and um, just progress a bit. And I'm sure we'll get back to everything that we want to do at a, late, at a later date. Because um, I was already... The episode before I disappeared, um, essentially, I was preparing to go to the primary research con containment facility. And my plan in what was this episode was to go to the research containment facility. That was always my plan. So, I mean, nothing's really changed as a whole. So, let's get this ion cube. Ion cube, mine these. Then we'll head back up. And we'll go back to base, make a bunch of beacons. I'm not sure how many we'll make. But we'll make them. Where then we'll go back down. And hopefully we'll be able to get some more cured peepers for that. Because our salt machine and slash water machine. Um... That's going to be my plan. I'm going to head back up to base, make the... this That creeped me the hell out, but the first time I came in, that just kept scaring me so much. Also, the sea dragon when I came in here, because there's a second goddamn sea dragon. Of course there is. Wait, what? Why can't I get out? Why is there a blue tablet there? I'm so confused. Because I don't have a blue tablet. What's that for? I might have to go and make another blue tablet then as well. So, get make the beacons. Come back down. Oh, the sea dragon got free. Thing is, the sea dragon, it was stuck in the corner. So, I was able to walk in really easily. I had literally no resistance going in here. Going out, however... Fuck, that's going to be a different story altogether. And I'm really terrified of this now. Seeing it just, you know, swim around and... I was about to say fly around. 
Anyway, 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 I'm, I keep rambling and losing track. Beacons, come back, mark the warp gate, go hunting for ingredients. That's the plan, and I forgot to put my timer on shit, so I'm gonna, like, play this game for three hours and not even realize, so I'm gonna put a timer on it. Um, because obviously we need to be sensible in some way. As much as I'd want to record for five hours, that would be what a, like, detriment to my hard drive space that would be. Okay, it seems to have swam off in that direction, so we'll head over here first. And it'd be great if we could get a, get a move on. And I'm going to kind of loop around, in a sense, and uh, get past it. I swear to God, if it spots me and goes after me, I'm going to just freak the, my shit out. I'm going to freak the F out. I'm trying to keep an eye on it at the same time as moving. Because I can imagine it just loops around this area. So it was going that way, so now I want to go around this way sort of thing. And I forgot how much this game puts you on edge. Like, how much of a tense situation it could put you in. And I can't exact... I can hear it. I can't see it, though. Which is terrifying. We might as well collect some resources while we go back. I can't remember, like, what I was going to... Like, what I was thinking about making next. So, I'm not exactly sure what, you know, materials I need. I'm just going to take some kyanite up with me. I got some ion cubes from that unlimited source. So, um, and then, I mean, we'll just pick, we'll just see what, you know, what we can do with, you know, to make next. I'm kind of getting into the rhythm of doing commentary again. It's been so long since I've talked to myself for long periods of time while technically talking to you guys. So, kind of getting back into that rhythm. Not that I was very good at it in the first place, but, you know, we've got to kind of gain something back. But I hope you guys are happy I'm back. I'm happy I'm back. Um, and I'm just so happy that I get to carry on playing this game. Because this is a true pleasure. A real pleasure. Yeah. Got a load. There's so much goddamn kyanite. I just won't drill through it. There you go. And to be honest. Um, I was. I was so unprepared for the last part. I kind of was just like. Okay, let's get back into it, and I jumped straight, because I was so excited to get back to the game. Just jumped straight on, and did the test recording. It decided to screw up for some reason in between. But anyway, I was so excited to get on, and I got on, I played it, um, and I didn't bring drink with me. However, now, prepared, because I wrecked my throat in that last recording. Afterwards, I was like... <coughs> so, I uh, brought a drink with me. I kind of actually hurt my throat a little bit then, so, you know, that's, that's great. But, uh, yeah, okay, anyway, back to it. I have a drink, so I'm a bit more prepared this time around. And it kind of got knocked some of the rust off during the last part as well of playing some Nautica again. Of the game mechanics and whatnot. I wonder what's around here. I forgot power was a thing. That could have been... Oh, he's gotten stuck again, I think. Yeah, he's over there. Unless that's another one. Unless there's three of them around here, then... You know, F my life at that point. Let's, uh... I'm just kind of picking things up as I'm going. <gasps> Fucking hell. <gasps> oh my god, no, 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 no! Go! Why did you come over here? Okay, that was quite a good maneuver we did then. Oh my, I need to get across. I need to get through there. Holy shit. Whoa! What the hell? It's morphing! It's morphing time, Power Rangers! Oh my god, this is a nightmare come true. Where did he teleport? Or is that an is or are there like three Le sea dragon leviathans in here? I am beyond confused right now. Oh my god. It was just gunning for me. It wasn't stopping for anything. Came came through and it was just... Hang on, I need to let my engines recharge. My god. They're faster than you think they are. And plus, it just came through the wall. It was just like... My god, that was just... An interesting encounter and a terrifying one. Like, in this thing, when you see a sea dragon coming for you, that is like one of the most terrifying sights you can have in this game. Like, my, my butthole was so clenched then. I was just so scared. Ah, there it is, our base. Okay. 
So, I saw the base in the last part because we started off at the base, but you guys haven't seen the base in quite a while. So, here you go. We're back. <clears throat> Literally nothing's changed, so it's not too special, but... Beacons, copper ore and titanium. Okay, so hopefully we have some of that. I can't remember what we were looking like for our materials. So it's one titanium and one copper for each. So I think there were six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think there were six um, uh, gates from what I remember. So we shall search for copper. Actually, no. Yeah, no, copper. We'll search for copper. Um, get the one that we need. So, yeah, okay. So I think there were six warp gates from what I remember. I'm not entirely sure about that. But I'm gonna just put make six just in case anyway. And um, it might have been four now that I think about it. But we'll make them anyway. And we'll mark every single one so we are organized on where to go. Yeah, we're putting our resources back into our lockers just so for the future. Um, okay, so we need that titanium. We have five beacons. We have the fungal sample with us. I need to go and repair because I believe the prawn suit was at 86%. So we're going to repair that as well. And we'll get our water, actually. We've already got some water, but I'm going to take these two. Get these two salt. I'm going to take that much more with us. And... We're going to go and have a look at our peeper situation, take as many as we can, make them all cured, and then head back. Head back um, down and then start marking all the gates and then hopefully from there we'll be able to self-sustain through just means of survival. Oh my god! How many- my god you guys like breed like rabbits! It's an... I am... I'm impressed, guys. I'm very impressed. Jesus Christ. Um, I think we have more than enough peepers. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, let's just grab a sixth. Seventh. Let's just grab an eighth. We still have shit tons in here. Next time I come back... I'm going to be gone for ages from the base now. So next time we come back, it's just going to be like there's no space left. You know that bit in Finding Nemo where all the fish are in the fishnet at the end? It's going to be like that, except it's a tank. There's still loads of them in there. There's so many babies. We're going to have a we're gonna have a space... We're going to have a breeding issue in here. The peepers are taking over the world. No wonder there's so many of them around here. They breed like goddamn rabbits. Okay, so we have more than enough water and cured peepers to keep us survived surviving for a very long time. Um, let's just repair you real quick. Okay, so let's just chuck all of our peepers in there. Actually, no, we'll keep two of each of those with us. Um, we'll organize the rest of our stuff and then we'll go hunting for copper. Oh my god! We have a beacon in here already! Oh my god! That's just made my life so much easier. I was about to have to go out and... I was literally about to go out all the way back down just to get a copper. Because there were clearly none up here, so... Okay, oh my god, that's a lifesaver that is a time, especially. Um, so we have six now. We have titanium. Uh, but we don't need it anymore. So we'll check it back and then we'll... I suppose make our way down because we've got all the food we need. We've got all the beacons we need. It's time to get um, this show on the road for the hatching enzymes. It's just getting back down there. Do I want to... That's the wrong thing. Do I need any more tablets? Because it said I needed a blue tablet and I don't want it to glitch out on me. Iron cube and two... We'll make it just in case. Uh, two nickel ore and iron cube. Okay, let, let's just get like five iron cubes and then we'll use two of them. So we needed nickel and kyanite. So we'll make some tablets. Ooh, this is getting good. Right. 
So we'll make a blue tablet and an orange tablet. Just in case. I'm not sure what we're going to run into. I'm pretty sure we've searched all the bases and that was probably a waste. But you know me, I like to I like to prepare for fail safes. You know, I like to have my uh, my contingencies in in wait. So we we'll make those. What else do we need? I think that's everything. Got our tablets, got our water. I'm going to take my habitat builder with me just in case. I, like, again, fail safe. I just need to feel like I have that sort of security. We have our beacons. We have our ion cubes. Um, we'll bring more ion cubes because I've made six beacons for six gates. And I'm not even taking that amount. Even though we have that unlimited source of ion cubes. Um, we have that unlimited source inside the primary research containment facility. But just in case. Oh, yeah. I should probably be more careful, actually. Because I'm really unclear if there's one or if there's two. Because one went and attacked me and then it appeared through the wall. So I'm not sure if that was a different sea dragon that was stuck in there. Or whether... Oh, fuck. I gotta just race for that goddamn... I'm pretty sure it's just one. I need to recharge before I head. Oh fuck, he's looking at me. Oh, that was a bad move. Go. Oh, he's shooting at me! What the hell? Wait, how did I... I'm so confused. How did I get in here the first time round? I just walked in. Is there a glitch? Because I just walked in here the first time round. Um, I didn't have to use a tablet. I only brought... I brought the one blue tablet because I figured I'd have to use it. But I used it up there to get into the sea dragons. Uh, sea emperors. Uh, you know... Stop. Just stop. Yeah, anyway, I used it to get into the Sea Emperor's um, chamber. I didn't use one to get in here, but going in second time when I did? Weird. See, I haven't even powered up the... I've only powered up one warp gate. I haven't powered up any of the others. I wonder if you could put signs up, actually. In here, like in the alien areas. I'm curious if you can actually do that. Let's find out. So, five. I don't know. You can't. I didn't think you did. I think, didn't think you could. Um, right, okay. I'm curious as to where... I, like I said in the last part, where before I went into the other warp gate, that I've, the one that I've opened, I said, I swear to God... If it, you know, spawns me, like, and, like, teleports me right in front of a goddamn sea, um, you know, a sea, a ghost leviathan or something, I'm gonna be pissed off. See, thing is, I need to remember exactly where each of these goes in terms of biomes. Hopefully, I'll only have to make one trip and then get it and go back and won't have to go back through it. That's hopefully what I'm going for. But I don't know where I can get these other ingredients. So, let's see where it puts us in hell this time. Right, okay. This looks weirdly similar to the last one. Ooh. Hang on. We're on land. Yeah, we're on land. We're not even in... This is going to be one of the islands, isn't it? Oh, 
Oh no. No, it's um, definitely... Right, okay. Oh, I'm in... Oof! God damn it. Just die. Oh, just go away. One or the other. I said go away. You dead now? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. Really? Go away, I said. And you're swimming. Okay, you're dead as well. Good. Right. Here we go. Um, this kind of looks like the bull bush sample. Um, so I'm going to go and hit that and we'll see. Why does it say alien door already? Maybe it's like the last thing I wrote in a previous beacon. Um, bulb. Bush. Warp. Gate. P. R. F. So basically when I look at that, it's going to say, you know... Um, It's going to say um, Bulb Bush Warp Gate PRF. So PRF standing for Primary Research Facility. What is that noise? So it looks like I should only have to hit one of these and I'll get it. No way is it that that's easy. It is. It really is that easy. Okay, so we've already got the Bulb Bush. I guess head back in. You know, what was the point? I put so much effort into this mission, and it's just, I walk out, bang, walk back in. That's literally it. I swear to God, if that's it for all of them. Have you gotten bigger or something? The hell? So, yeah, I think there's definitely only four warp gates. So, that was that done. See, these middle doors, they don't have anything. Um, they have, like, these areas where I scanned a bunch. Like, one has a bunch of eggs in it. Um, you could see Sea Emperor eggs. You could see Sea Dragon eggs in there. It was really cool. And then this one has, like, the outflow inflow pipes. Um, the pipe system where we saw the ventilation shafts before. Okay, so that's the one I've already opened. That was the tree... That was the mushroom forest area. Probably didn't even need to bring beacons, honestly, but... You know, if, I ever, if I'm ever up on the surface for a long time and I want a quick way to get all the way down, I can just follow, you know, PRF, Mushroom Forest, and then I can, you know, go down to there and just go straight in through the gate. That would be that easy. So, it, I suppose in the long term, it's making my life easier for myself, which is not always a bad thing, so. All right. Let's see. One of these is going to end up in the Ghost Leviathan's territory, I can tell, because there's Ghost Weed Sample. So, you know, that's going to be a bundle of joy, that is. I've never really been caught by a Leviathan yet in one of these things, so I don't know what happens. I'm not sure how much damage they do. Which is why I'm so scared of them when I'm in here. Ah! This must be the ghost one, then. We need to heal you, because you just took a bit of a beating by those bone sharks. I've always been too scared to walk up to things and scan them, so that's why, like, for I haven't scanned a lot of the creatures. Not that I don't want to. I'm just too, too much of a pussy, basically. Just too damn scared. Okay, so um, I'm not sure... Let's have a look at the sample again. Ghost. Okay, it looks like that. Well, we'll see where we get with our with our picture. Oh fuck! It's the Lost River. Those are you things that. Yeah, you guys make those noises. I'm just going to save. You know, um, I'm prepared to save scum. 
my god. I'm in a goddamn prawn suit in the Le Ghost Leviathan's area. This is the last thing I wanted. The absolute last thing I wanted. And it spins me around. So, the last one, the ingredient was like right next to the door. Okay, it's not you. Fuck it. And this is the baby one. Okay, it's gone over there. I don't want to get too deep in here, though, because... Oh my god, it came right back. I'm, I'm not doing that one yet. I'm going to come back to this one. Oh my god. Leviathans, man. They put me so on edge. So... You're, so, you're like one of the worst things, you know that? So... I haven't, I couldn't see anything that looked like the ghost weed, um, so I'm not exactly sure about that one, just yet, I'm really not, um, yeah, kind of confused on that one, it didn't look like I could see any sort of ingredients that looked just the same as that, um, so we'll go back and we'll have a bit more of a thorough look when I'm not so scared. So what would I be, what's I'm, what am I looking for? Not the ghost seed. So it's either the ice stalk seed or the sea crown seed. I've seen the ice stalk seed before. That looks, that looks familiar. That, um, that little bulb, like the light bulbs on it. Okay. It's pitch black outside. Oh my God. Really? Why is every single gate greeted me with something I really don't want to see? I have to kill so many of these guys. It's actually hilarious. Right. Oh, no. Is this what it... Is that what I'm looking for? Oh, there's you guys here. This isn't Ghost Leviathan territory, is it? I can't hear anything. That looks exactly like what I'm looking for. Ugh. What do we get? I stalk seed. I believe that was it. Yep, okay. We're in. We're, we're in. We're out. Shake it all about. Um. Oh my god. Well... Get another beacon out there, just in case, you know, future reference. Oh! Fucking cry, mini Christmas! I'm so scared when I'm outside of the prawn suit in deep water. Let's just type this in. Oh my god. You couldn't troll me anymore, could you, game? Very interesting. Right, it's time to go back for that ghost weed one, because... I haven't seen any sea crown seeds, and we don't have enough warp gates for the amount of ingredients there are, so... Jeez, this is a, a little bit more tough than I thought it was going to be. Um, by the way, it, like kind of made it out to be. Sea crown seed. I haven't seen anything like that, though, yet. And rather than look it up on the internet, I'd rather you guys, like, help me out. If you guys could tell me, like, the general area of where they are, rather than exactly where they are. Just tell me, like, the general biome where I'd find them. 
Um, and then, you know, that would be a big help. So then, it kind of gives me, not ex the exact location, but it kind of gives me the general area to look. One of them's gonna be in Reaper territory. I bet the Sea Crown Seed is like on the surface and it's in like Reaper territory. That's what, it wouldn't surprise me. Because I bet this game is now like, okay, you're kind of, you're in the end game now, basically. It's time to test your survival skills and uh, put you up against all your greatest fears so far. Very smart developers and also a douchebag move, especially for guys like me who are just terrified of everything. These guys are one of the biggest factors as to, like, look at that, that's terrifying. Yeah, these guys are definitely as to one of the biggest factors. Not in you, are they? Nope. See, I can't see any other kind of vegetation, if you know what I mean. And this asshole's just hanging around. We'll save again. I, I don't like save scumming, but I'm prepared to do it for this section because I hate the ghost leviathan that much. Sorry, juvenile ghost leviathan. Do you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to put a beacon on the gate. Ah, uh, we're like in the, the blood oil area now. Maybe the ghost weed sees in the blood area. Maybe it's not necessarily... <gasps> it may not be giving you the actual places, but it'll give you the general areas. Please don't get attacked. Ghost weed. Oh my god, is that it? Ghost weed. Oh my god, it's just the sea crown, but I have no idea where that could be because it's not given me a warp gate for it. That was lucky that was that I kind of that came up in my head that it could be a general area rather than an exact for some of them. Of course it would give you the general area one where you go against the ghost leviathan. It's just typical. So we need to get back now. Without getting seen, or if we get seen, just get the F out as quick as I possibly can. I swear to God, if I launch myself towards him now by accident. I can't see him. Oh shit, he's coming like... Did they change his sound or something? That sounds way more terrifying than before. Ooh, do you know what just occurred to me? So it's given us four warp gates, right? To, for four ingredients. That's obvious. It's, I found an ingredient in, through every warp gate I've gone through. And the the warp gate inside the Emperor's um, containment area, I speak, to, I speak about it as if it's an SCP or something. Um, in its containment area, there's a warp gate. Maybe that actually leads you to another ingredient. Now that I think about it, that's very plausible. That's like a fifth ingredient is it through that gate. Oh yeah, this will be the first time you guys get to see the Sea Emperor. Like, I understand some of you have seen Subnautica. You've watched it all the way through before. I absolutely get that. Um, and you guys are kind of watching me because a lot of people say they enjoy this series because it's me going through it blind. Um, which uh, I think I can see. I, you know... Games I've played in the past, I love watching people play them blind, seeing their reactions to certain moments, perfectly understand that. But for me, my first time seeing this, it was absolutely incredible. It's just so cool. Um, just so majestic and just so beautiful and such an incredible design as well. Not, you know, what an incredible creature. So let's head back through here. Hopefully it's day um, and we'll get the sea crown seed somehow. Right, this is a bit better, isn't it? Um, right, so if it's to follow suit with all the other ingredients, it should be in the general area. I remember this side of the island, there weren't any reapers around, so... Or if it's right underneath it, that would be absolutely, like, supreme. That would be incredible. 
See, it doesn't look like there's any plant life around here, but then again, in the other one, it didn't. All I had to do was stray a little bit, and then I found it straight away, so. So it's gonna be in a different biome. Which one, though, I am really uncertain of. I don't think we need to mark this warp gate because it's such it's near to such an iconic place. We don't really don't need to. See, this is what it wants you to do, isn't it? It wants you to just jump down there and then laugh at you saying, ha ha, you the green is down there, dickhead. That's what they want to do. It's not like on the side of these, is it? That'd be too easy. Hmm, interesting. See, the only... It looks like we're going into Bull Bush area, because this makes me think Bull Bush. Not Sea Crown. What does that give us? Violet Note. Cave Bush. No. Nope. It's weird how there's just this one little bit of... Oh, I hate it. I just... That's, that just scares the shit out of me. So, what I might do, guys, is... Go to the coral area. So, I think it's time to visit the old base. Um... Yeah, I think we might have to head back to the old base and check around that area. Just, you know, check up on the old base, see how it's doing. Hopefully no Reaper's gone and mauled it to pieces, which would be lovely. Okay, so the only places I could think where the Sea Crown could be would either be in the Coral area, where you start off the game, uh, or the it could potentially be in the Kelp Forest. It could be in the Red Grass Zone as well. Red Grass is where I'm actually leaning to. Um... It's going to be sea crown seed. It looks a bit more because of the... You can kind of tell by the way the plants look. Oh, I can hear a reef back. It's been so long since I've seen a reef back. I spat everywhere. Um, probably couldn't even see that. I probably could have got away with that. Because you can kind of tell by the way things look in this game. Kind of where they're from. So like the purplish like luminescent... Oh, you tried it! You tried it! You son of a... Trying to ruin my... Stop it! Oh, you seriously didn't just teleport those guys. Totally did as well. Right, stay away. Oh, I love how it leaves you hanging there. Like, it keeps you attached. Um, but anyway, back to it. Like, the purple luminescent type colours, you'd think lower underground. You know, or like things with like red, like very dark red, dark purple, like like kind of wispy type stuff. You think it's down in the ghost area. Fungal sample, that's obvious. It's a mushroom, fungal. So be in the mushroom forest, that's kind of obvious. Sea crown seed. I feel like that the, the name alone suggests it's in an open plain area. And the color is like a light blue. It looks luminescent, but it looks like the kind of blue and just not luminescent enough for it to be up up high somewhere. That's what I'm leaning to. I'm kind of just using logic to dictate my way through this. It's been so long since I've been up here. I kind of I've forgotten the directions of where everything is. Um, I bet Sea Crown is in a Reaper Leviathan area. I just the way this game is, I just know that they put it there just to make you go into their territory. What the. F that's what it was loading in. It doesn't look too bad, does it? The base still looks pretty much intact. I destroyed the moon pool. Yeah, because the sea moth's just hanging out there. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, it's so nice to have the sea moth back. To be in the sea moth again. It brings back old memories. Oh my god, and this. The name wall. <laughs> oh my god. This happened like... 
I can't remember what part I put that up. I think it was like part 8 or 9. Maybe even a bit later than that. Maybe like 13 or something. The Wall of Remembrance. Jesus. That's... I, I'm not sure if I'll ever get back to that. Because I didn't realise the game would take... It's like literally been impossible for me to add to that. Because I've been down in the depths for so long. Um, and I'm so... Like I'm never up here anymore. So it's been a lot harder... It, it's like impossible for me to keep up with this. So maybe once the game's complete, I can go back and um, put some more names on there. But uh, I'm not promising anything at this point. Uh, ooh, the coffee machine. Yes. I remember. Yeah, because this base is running solely off solar powers. Ah, wordplay. Um, yeah, it's running literally just off solar panels. Which is, uh, I find hilarious because I've. It shows how far I've come in this game. Looking at this space and looking at my new one. Like, I'm way more efficient in my new one in terms of space. Like, this one is so spread out and looks nice, you know, designs nice and everything. I remember, I think what I mainly did was suck everything out of the base. I didn't necessarily mess with the structure, I destroyed some rooms. I'm pretty sure, like, one or two. But I mainly just took everything out. The Keep Calm poster! Oh my god, all this is still here as well. Because I remember I took pretty much everything out the lockers. The med kits. I'm just going to take all those. Uran and I, I'm not too bothered about that. Personal. Oh, the posters and everything. I left so much, like, m memorable stuff. I'm taking my cat, my cat poster with me. That's that I'm taking. Do we still have our? Oh, and the design of this as well. I this room is so pretty. Jesus, memories, so long ago now as well. So anyway, what we were here for, Sea Crown, the kind of parts again. Oh my God, the life pod! Oh, I'm not going to go in the life pod right now because I have things to do, but... Oh, memories. So nice to... To be back. Right, okay, so... Again, I haven't seen anything that looks like a sea crown yet. So, this is where I'm banking on it being. So, we've wandered... I'm nothing. Okay. So it doesn't seem to be in the red grass area, from what I could see. So I doubt it'd be in the mushroom area. But yet, yeah, my theory of it being in Reaper Leviathan territory is coming more and more to fruition by the looks of it. And it actually looks like we're wandering into that now. The thing is, these desert plains, they have like... No... Like, nothing in them. So, I'm at, I'm at a major loss right now as to where everything is. Where the sea crown is. It's the only ingredient that I'm struggling with. Um, I swear to God, if that's already in... If the bloody sea crown is in the em the sea emperor's chamber, I am going to be annoyed. Thing is, every time I went into a biome, I was looking for one ingredient. I wasn't looking for the sea crown as well. So I may have looked at it in, an, in one of the other biomes and not realized. Oh, fuck. Just in case. A reaper comes out of nowhere and attacks us. There's gonna be nothing here though, it's just planes.
I don't think we're going to find anything here, honestly. Oh, I can't even see it! Oh, it's right behind me! Oh. Ah! Go! Just go! I need to go for a walk. 